Bourbonite, hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Sarah, we have a very familiar bottle sitting up here on the table, but we've never actually officially given it a review. What do we have? We have Four Roses Single Barrel. Four Roses Single Barrel, now we're we're not talking about a pick. Although I kind of wish we were, because I do love a, <laughs> I do love a good four yeah. roses single barrel pick. And they are kind of harder to find nowadays. They are. We we were yeah. fortunate enough to get to go to a four roses single di barrel dinner. Single at, dinner. Single dinner. A single barrel dinner at our local restaurant, OBC Kitchen, where they had done barrel picks of all ten of the recipes, and then we got to taste them all. It was a fun night, and Brent Elliott spoke, and we do love him. We do love Brent. He is a good guy. All right, pause for cork pop. So the Four Roses single barrel on the shelf version is an OBSV recipe. And if you have your decoder ring out, um, <laughs> the B, the second and the fourth letter are the ones that change. So the B is the high rye recipe, the 35% rye. And then the last letter, the V denotes like the flavor profile, which is delicate fruit. Or I think that comes from the yeast strain. Like mm -hmm. the flavor profile that comes from the yeast strain delicate fruit is and rye, yeah. delicate fruit and rye, mm -hmm. which is nice because I really do, I found that even when doing picks, like I really like an OBSV, but you know, I'm partial to some uh, the K's and um, yeah, what else? You know, well, it all depends really on the pick because that night of the dinner that you were talking about, I was really getting on the E's, which oh, normally, yes. yeah. which is the lower rye. I'm a OB uh, all the way. Well, I've, normally, typically I am too, but mm -hmm, likely story. this night I was like, these E's are really speaking to me. But you know, that makes sense because they are single barrels. Yes, you might be more inclined to uh, lean one way or the other, but it all depends Oof. on who's picking it. Sure. Now this is 100 proof. All the ones that are just regular uh, Four Roses uh, single barrels out there will be 100 proof. Mm -hmm. um, and whereas the other ones, like let's just start with the, I don't know what you call it, brown label now, the 80 proof. That's typically around five years. Used to be yellow label, now <laughs> it's not quite yellow. Not quite, tan label. Uh, you have the small batch and the small batch select. Those are both around six to seven years. This guy's gonna be a minimum of seven to nine years. So wow. we're getting some older stuff in here. I mean, I do appreciate that, like a solid 100 proof product, you know, seven to nine years old, pretty readily available. $36 is what we bought That's this bottle for. That's what I'm just like putting all these things together. I'm like, wait a wait minute. Wait a second. This wait a second. Is this a really, really good deal? Is this a really good deal? I think it might be a really good deal. <laughs> hey guys, come look how, how good this deal is. <laughs> uh, well, let's, let's get the nose in here. I mean, I always Ooh. get a bit fruitier floral yeah. notes on Four Roses. Um, I definitely think like the V recipe, but. But I'm also getting leather on this. Which I think is coming from that age range. Yeah and like a hint of milk chocolate. And then I do get a little effervescence from that high rye. Um, it's just ever so slight, but it, it feels a little. Mm -hmm. I get I delicate fruit it, and rye. Oh yeah? I wouldn't call it like eucalyptusy, but it's just a little minty. Yeah. Just a little, just a teeny tiny bit. For sure, I mean, this is not too far off from some barely legal rye. It's a 51% mm. rye, this is 35% rye. The least amount of rye you can have in a rye whiskey is 51, so it's bordering. It's getting up there. It's getting up there. Yeah, I like it. It's definitely got a... Yeah, nice nose for the proof. Right? It's got some things to say mm -hmm. on the nose. Agreed. All right. To your health. Very similar. Mm. Uh, echoey on the palate, you know? A little bit of minty, a little bit of chocolatey, a little bit of floral, a little bit of fruit. Yeah. I Ooh. definitely get more floral, though. Yes. But a nice rye spice that but sort of... That. Took it a few seconds, but then it kind of just went whoom across the mm. tongue. Um, nice sharp little black pepper bordering on some clove spice. Decently long finish. I know second sip Sarah's already gone in. I like um, to get, I like to focus on flavors <laughs> first, fin sure. finish. Uh, just off the one sip, um, it is settling nicely into the chest here for that mm -hmm. Kentucky hug. It does have a pretty decently long finish. And I do like, you know, with it being a higher rye, it does kind of gravitate towards like the back part of your tongue and settle in there, but it's not aggressive. It's just like a, a light, you know, it just rustles its way in. I don't know. It's rustles just... its way in. 
There you go. I well, do get the pepper and the clove though yeah. that you were saying, but it's not, again, it's not aggressive. It's not overpowering. It's like lightly balanced with the mint and the sweet and mm -hmm. the floral and the fruit. I am now ready for my second sip, but oh. before I do, let's just hit pause and tell you about our home on the internet. It is whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get the new Proof Hound shirt that I am wearing Proof Hound. right here. Oh, oh. <laughs> we have other shirts, uh, sweatshirts, hoodies, also hats like the one I'm wearing here. Glass our Glen Karens that we're drinking from. We also have Copitas. Uh, uh, Glen Karen lids, rocks glasses, water glasses, <laughs> challenge coins, pins, candles. He's gonna name the whole site. Everything that's on the site, he's gonna list it. I think I got it all. And more always coming soon. That's whiskeyambitions.com. You can become a patron at patreon.com slash night and join for as little as one buck a month. Join our community. Uh, we release our barrel picks there and we're already working on barrel picks for 2022. Um, we released the opportunities to participate in barrel picks there, which is fun. We also do after the episode exclusives like we'll do after this episode called Another Round with Chad and Sarah uh, and more. There you go. All right, be right back. Okay, second sip time for oh, me. Oh, I think I have already taken a third sip. Yeah, so this is fourth sip. I like it. The mintiness on the finish, it's really, uh, I feel like I can breathe deeper. Yeah. But again, it's not super strong. Mm. It's just a light mintiness. You know what I was kind of thinking, Sarah? It's been a while since we've really sat down with a bottle, uh, just an off the shelf bottle of Four Roses mm. single barrel. And now I'm wondering why, <laughs> why? why it's been so long. Why? Why did we do this? Yeah. Second sip, I'm getting more of that effervescence that you're talking mm. about. Yeah. Um, it really settles in, in the chest. Yes. Like, you know, like when you put, um, and this is, it probably sounds gross, but like, you know, if you have like a cold or something and you put like that menthol rub. Vix? Yeah. <laughs> and then you can breathe deeper. I almost feel like it's like that, mm -hmm. but not taste wise, feeling wise. Right. Right. It's just nice. <laughs> Does not taste like Vicks Vapor. I wouldn't know what it tastes like. I wouldn't know. No. But I'm just saying like if you had a little, you know, cold or something going on, mm -hmm. it might be a nice. <sighs> yeah. I'll tell you one thing about this is it's definitely a sort of outside of the norm of your, if if your bourbon experience is, is sort of smaller in the bottles that you've tried, this one's sort of going to be the outlier, like the high percentage of the rye here, and it's also it's more fruity and floral notes. Mm. It is a different experience. So if you're a newer bourbon drinker or just haven't ventured out that much and want to experience a pretty different flavor profile, I feel like, you know, especially for the price, an easy recommend. I agree with you. I think like when people are new to their, you know, bourbon experience, it's I feel like a lot of like the old standards have that, you know, classic traditional uh, vanilla, caramel, chocolatey, brown sugary thing going on, which yeah. is great. Yeah. Um, this, I mean, there are still some of those notes in here, but it's accompanied by so much more. Yeah. And I agree. Like, it, if you're, if that's been your lane so far, this is a, I think, an affordable option to kind of step outside of that and see if you like higher rye options. Yeah. Also, some people who are like, I'm nervous about getting into rye. Uh, this would be like a, a stepping stone, as I would call it. A little if, crutch, right? Right. If you are traditionally like a solid low rye bourbon drinker and you mm -hmm. want to try to start getting over there, this is a good place to go and see how you feel. If it's too much of that like minty effervescence for you, then I think you know. Maybe don't go too much farther than that if you are going to try rye, or maybe rye just aren't for you. Or maybe you love it and you're like, yes, I want more rye. This is my gateway bourbon. Yeah, it's a gateway bourbon. <laughs> the gateway to rye. I think it could be. Yeah, no, I, I really I agree. like this a lot. Yeah. No, very warm chest. And when you mm. said brown sugar, yeah, absolutely. There's definitely the, the, the brown sugar on this guy. It's sort of like a warmer brown sugar, spicier brown sugar. It's got a, like a light peppered note. Uh, nitty gritty time. This is, uh, we bought our bottle for $36 um, for a 100 proof, seven to nine year single barrel of a high rye, rye being a more expensive grain, mm. high rye bourbon. It's a very easy recommend for me. Yeah, I think for all the reasons that we've said thus far, but also the fact that I didn't realize that it was a the seven to nine year window which obviously ages and everything, but I think that coupled with the proof and the price is a win-win-win. I, I know that there's gonna be some people that argue like, well, when I can get Rare Breed for $42, why would I spend $36 on this? Well, if you like proof, it's also got high rye content, yeah. so go for it. Right. Um, but I think, you know, this is also a nice experience at 100 proof. You wanna give it the official? I will give it the official. I think this could be a crowd pleaser. Sorry, I'm very much a semantic. Like, but you haven't put your thumb on the bottle yet, Sarah. I have things to say. Okay. 
So there we go. Uh, if you've made it this far in the episode, um, why don't you put the gateway to Rye down in the comments and only those who've made it this far in the episode will know what we're talking about. Other people will be And people are like, why confused. is everybody saying this? Yeah, the gateway to Rye, what? That's what? always funny it's to like see a, It's people. like a state motto or something. <laughs> Four rows of single barrel, the, the gateway, gateway to, to Rye. rye. You See go. you next time. <laughs> yeah, so thanks for visiting. Uh, but that's where we'll leave it. Uh, hey, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, we'd love to have you. What you waiting for? Come on over. You can do so by clicking right up here. The suggestions of other videos are right down here. We hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay. Until next time, drink more bourbon.